Run. I created a uh, soundboard in Touch Portal and by the way, so much fun. You're gonna get all the sound files from this, so you might as well watch the whole video. I've been wanting to make a soundboard for a while, and uh, today I'm gonna show you how to make a soundboard within Touch Portal. There was a YouTuber that created a video that gave me some inspiration with the organization of this soundboard, and if you're interested in uh, checking him out or giving him a thanks, a link to his channel will be in the description below. By the way, guys, we're doing a giveaway for the graphic upgrades that are in this new update of Touch Portal. You can find the giveaway link in the description below. Two requirements for this giveaway. You'll need to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to Touch Portal's YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe to those two channels in order to win that lovely giveaway with that being said let's go ahead and move forward with this video all right so we're going to start with a new page here for the soundboard first thing i'm going to do is show you how to set up an actual button that will play a sound file it's quite easy the first button we're going to do is directly under that go to main page what we're looking for is a media action that will play audio so if we just type in play the action play audio will pop up in the action window and what we're going to do is select an audio file the first audio file that i'm going to show you how to set up is this air horn file here i'm going to open that file and i'm going to add that in when you're doing this you want to make sure you have the correct format for your audio files it needs to be either mp3 aiff wav or mpeg4 so make sure you have the correct format on your audio files and again guys i'm going to be linking you to all of these audio files at the end of this video so make sure you stay tuned Let's go ahead and add that in. And last but not least, the button settings. I want to change the icon to match the air horn. So I'm going to select the air horn icon that I created. And we're going to go ahead and save that button. The next thing we want to do is make sure we give it the ability to turn on and off. And the reason we want to do that is so that if we hit play on that sound file and then we want to stop it by hitting it again, we can do that by creating an if statement. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna create an if statement. We're gonna pull it above that play audio there. And what we're gonna do is if this button state is off, we're going to turn the button state on. So we're gonna change the button state to on, and then it's going to play that audio file. Then we need to wait for a certain amount of time to make sure that that entire audio file does get played which for this specific audio file, we need to wait roughly six seconds of time. And then we're going to change that button state back to off. So when we press this button, it will turn the button on, it will play the file, it will wait till the file has played, and then it will turn it off. Now we need to create an else action. This else action will sit right under everything we just created. Then we're going to create an action for stopping audio. So what this will do is stop the audio uh, when we press that button a second time. And when we press that button a second time, we want to make sure that it is also turning that button state off. So basically what we've just created is when we press the button, it will play that audio. It will wait six seconds. And if we don't press it again, it will just turn that button state back off. However, if we press the button and then the audio plays for one second and we press the button again, it will shut off the audio and it will turn the button off. This allows us to stop the audio playing in the middle of it playing the audio. It's a pretty cool function. We're going to go ahead and save that button. The next thing we want to do is copy and paste this button in all of these open spots down here. 
I'm gonna quickly go through and change all of these audio files to different sound sources. So I'm gonna click on here. I'm gonna change the sound source over to the Badum sound and I'm going to add that in. I'm going to change the icon to that correct icon and I'm going to save that. And I'm gonna repeat that process for all eight of these buttons. Now that I've changed all the buttons and the button icons, we're ready to start setting up the organization of this tab. And what we're going to do is head over to values. We're going to create a new value. The ID can be anything. You just want it to be somewhat unique. So we're doing soundboard. What I'm going to do is soundboard, soundboard one. I'm going to name this soundboard and we're going to set the default value to one. I'm going to save that value. We're going to go back to our page. And what we're going to do is adjust this button here. What we're doing on this button is essentially helping with the organization of this page so that we can have more than one sound on all of those buttons below. It's a pretty clever trick. So what we're going to do is create an action for set value. We're going to set the value ID for soundboard and we're going to set the value to one. For this icon, I'm going to select an icon that I created a while back. It's a speaker icon that has an on and off switch for it. Now that I've selected my icon, I can go over to the on event tab. And what I'm going to do is create an event for a value change. So when the value changes for the soundboard over to one, we want to change it to this icon indicating that this button is on. So what we need to do is create a button visual change. And what we're going to do is change the icon over to that file. Same thing. I'm going to copy both of these and I'm going to paste them down here, except for we want to change when the value is not or does not change to one. We want to change this icon to indicate that this button is off. Now that we've selected both of our visual changes, we can go ahead and save this button. What we need to do is copy this button and paste them in these two slots here. We can go in here and change this value to two, go to the on event tab, change this value to two and change this value to two. We need to change the default icon for this to be off as the default value for this custom value is set to one. So therefore these two buttons will be off by default. So again, we're gonna change this over from one to three. And on the on event tab, we're gonna change it from one to three. And again, for the icon, we're gonna change this to the off icon. Now we have three buttons up at the top that will change the value state of the custom value that we created earlier. Now we're ready to go into our air horn button and make some changes. So what we're going to do is go into the air horn button. We're going to add another if statement and it's going to get a little sloppy or a little bit confusing, but we're going to add this if statement directly below that set button state. If this value for soundboard is one, it will play the air horn audio. We're going to recreate this entire section here. We're going to copy that and we're going to paste it. And then we're going to change this over to the, uh, if the soundboard value is set to two. And then again, we're going to copy and paste all of those actions and squeeze them in again for the third one. And then last but not least, switch this two over to three. I know that was a lot and I'll kind of try to explain what we just did. Essentially, when we switch between those three buttons that we created just a minute ago, we're going to be playing different sound files on this button. We're also going to set on the on event tab a visual change for the icon so we know which sound file is going to be played. Now we're ready to go to the on event tab and we're going to create some button visual changes for the value state changes. So what we need to do is when the value of the soundboard changes to one, we need to set the button visuals to the icon of the air horn. And we're going to add that in. Now I'm going to copy both of these and I'm going to paste them below. 
when this changes to two, we're going to change this icon over to the heartbeat. I'm going to open that file. I'm going to add that in. And then last but not least, we're going to copy this again. We're going to paste it down below. And when it changes to three, we're going to change this icon over to the Illuminati confirmed and we'll add that in. Once we have all of those set, we can go ahead and save this button. Now, if we take a look at our device, what you'll notice when I switch the state of the value, the icon for this switches, but not only that, the sound file switches. So if I switch to the third, it will now play the Illuminati confirmed sound file. And again, if I switch it back to the first state, it will play that air horn. And what I'm going to do is repeat that process for all the buttons until I get all the sound files in there. I'm going to save this page and then I'm going to give it away to you guys uh, so you can download it and import it into your touch portal device. All right, so I finished the page, so it should have all the sound files on there. There's 19 in total. You can cycle through them just like that. I went ahead and also created just one big page with all of the sound files on it. So you can copy and paste these buttons to any page that you want them on, that sort of thing. Or if you just want one soundboard page, I went ahead and created that for you guys as well. All of those pages and sound files are linked in the description below. You'll have to download at least two things, a package of the pages and a package of all the sound files, and then you can uh, put them into your touch portal device. Remember when you import the page into touch portal, you need to add in the sound files to those pages and into those buttons. Otherwise the buttons won't have any sounds. So make sure you do that as well. With that being said, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this content, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. With that being said, I will catch you next time. Peace.